You know, Mad Men may have left the air a year ago, but fans of the retro show can now bring a piece of it home, part of a rising trend of auctioning Hollywood memorabilia. And that's creating a new source of revenue for studios. Julia Borston has the story from Los Angeles. Want Peggy Olson's typewriter or Don Draper's lighter? There are over 1,500 Mad Men props and set pieces up for sale, sold on behalf of Lionsgate from Mad Men's 92 episodes over seven seasons. Screenbid, an auction house that specializes in items from TV shows, will start the auction on Wednesday, many of the items starting at less than $100. Fans can bid online, and auction winners receive a certificate of authenticity and a screenshot of where the product was within the show. Screenbid charges a buyer's fee and takes a cut, delivering the rest to Lionsgate. Here is a brand new monetization, you know, for you. Uh, and beyond just the, you know, incremental dollars and cents that are going to fall to your bottom line, it is a wonderful marketing engagement and a cultural extension. Lionsgate and other studios benefit not just from incremental revenue from selling items like Don Draper's glasses or his lighter, but also the fact that auctions like these help drum up attention for shows long after they've left the air, inspiring fans to download episodes on iTunes or Amazon or to stream them on Netflix, helping media giants extend the life of their brands. And the fact that it's now easy for people to binge on shows long after they leave the air grows the potential fan base for these kinds of auctions. The availability of the streaming services for people to access the show whenever they want and to revisit these characters, revisit these storylines is going to make the demand really high. There are no official estimates, but the business of selling Hollywood memorabilia generates at least a billion dollars in annual sales, according to ScreenBid's chairman. A sale of Breaking Bad props brought in more than $65,000 for Walter White's copy of Leaves of Grass alone. So some of these items could get up into the tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars for something like Don Draper's car. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.